Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nuki, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be giving my opinion on the new Uprising Brawl in Overwatch. I know I'm a little bit late. I'm lazy, so I didn't really make a video. So, in case you have missed it, and in case you have been living on a rock for the past uh, week, the new up new Uprising update gave a new game mode in the arcade menu and that is this one it's a four player brawl and it uh, it makes you fight against robots which I think is actually pretty cool I think the idea is very cool but I do have something to say about it and that is that after a while it can get quite boring and you know I know that there's different uh, difficulty levels but even if you play on higher difficulty levels it might be challenging, but it might be, but it's not especially interesting because it is exactly the same thing over and over and over and over again, and that makes it kind of well, weak in thing. And I do like if you look at normal games, although you still have the over and over and over again, at least you have different heroes you fight against and different uh, teams that you that you can. Uh, play with different heroes and in in this one there's more only a couple heroes that are really useful uh, Bastion is for instance a really good hero to play um, Torbjorn, uh, Mercy are all very really good heroes to play so there's already kind of a limited option in, uh, in that regard but even if you have played all of the heroes and, well it's still the same Thing. It's still the same mission, it's still the same route you take, it's still exact same enemies. There's not very much challenge or surprise in that. If you play this a couple of times, it's just exactly the same. And that is kind of a point that I don't really like about it, and that's why I think it's good that this is not a, a staying thing. This is just uh, for now. You know, it might be funny if you had um, different heroes fighting against you. That might be a very cool idea. If you just had a bunch of uh, Soldier 76s and uh, a bunch of junk rats fighting against you. I think that's quite a good, good thing. That would be really cool, at least in my opinion. So yeah, all around, it's, it, it gets kind of boring. You know, after a while... It's not really exciting anymore. It might be challenging, but I don't think challenging is the same as exciting, per se. It's just, uh, well, you might take a few tries and get uh, legendary. Another thing with legendary is really that there's really no reward for doing legendary. It's really hard to do, and you really need a good coordinated team in order to pull it off. But even if you do it, well, you, yeah, you get more XP. But that's about it. You get you don't get a loot box for every time you play legendary. I, I do think that would be a good idea. If you can a loot box every time you were to complete legendary. That would be more of a push to do legendary because now you just have a bunch of people doing doing nine of these missions in normal just for the loot boxes, and then uh, they will wait for next week into doing uh, more. And I think if you would give a bigger reward for completing it in legendary that people would be more active in doing legendary because if you're now teaming up for uh, legendary solo queue first of all it, it's almost impossible to do uh, solo you really do need a good coordinated team in order to be able to pull off in the first place but even if you can pull off it just takes a very long time in order to get into the to get into a game on Legendary because there's not a whole lot of people playing. Especially now after um, it has been out for a while. I believe it's now like five hours until the new week starts and you get loot boxes again. So not a whole lot of people are playing it just for the loot boxes. So if you have a lot if you have people they're probably just playing because I like the game mode. Of course there will still be people that play for the loot boxes haven't gone to get. And I do really like these uh, loot boxes, by the way. That's another thing. 
I'm gonna go in depth about that in a sec. So you have all these people that um, that don't do it anymore for loot boxes. So you really have to rely on people that just like this game mode, which in normal, yeah, there's a. There, I, it took me about uh, two minutes to get into this game. I think around that time. But on Legendary, it can easily be five to maybe even ten minutes, depending on how, when you play. So that is a, kind of a complaint I have, is that uh, the higher difficulties don't really have a reward for it to do it. it it's, it's much more difficult, but it doesn't really give you anything. It could, you know, it's a challenge, but after the challenge, is if, after you've done it once, it's, it's good. So, uh, you know, I, you can't really expect a whole lot from this game mode. I would like it if there's more maps, but if, you know, I, I, you also need to think of what's reasonable. I don't think having ten maps is really reasonable. And after, you know, after all, you know, what, how can we complain? It's, a, it's a free new content. Always gotta love that. And uh, pretty surprising, actually. I wasn't expecting it. I actually just spent all my coins on legendary skins before it got announced. That was pretty sucky. But onto the loot boxes you get in this game, in this uh, update. I really love the skins. I've personally uh, gotten the. Um, the Reinhardt skin and the Genji skin, so I, I've, been, I've been pretty lucky in that regard. But these are the first, um, about the first, I think, yeah, the first themed, um, holiday. Well, it's not really a holiday, is it? But, you know, limited time supplied, um, loot boxes, that are skins that you can actually use in other time because the holiday ones well yeah everyone's going to be pretty looking at they're cool they're cool but if you're now using a um, christmas christmas one unless it's like may you know in may you can uh you know that's pretty themed i guess but the other ones you're not going to run around with those because that just that just looks silly right it's not um that not christmas anymore so using a Santa clad skin wouldn't really make a lot of sense. But I love that these ones, uh, you can use these all the time. Uh, I actually think a Widowmaker skin is the best Widowmaker skin that they have right now. So I'm definitely hoping to get that. Uh, I love the Mercy skin as well. That is a really cool one. Just the hair and all. And I, I really li like that one. I really think that one. Uh, all around the skins are really cool. You know, of course, the the pink ones are a little less less good. But you know, the the pink they're not legendary. But I think even those are pretty cool. You know, the 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 fact that Bastion and Ariza are actually uh, look just like you have in this this brawl is really fun, in my opinion. So we're out a great update. I really like this update. I really like the theme of this update. Uh, it's something I I didn't think of if I think of a, a new something new I wouldn't immediately think of this but I do really like it I have had a lot of fun playing the brawl I've uh, I've played it onto uh, the the third I, I forgot the name of what the third was with the third um, difficulty it was it was pretty pretty difficult you know it's not too bad but uh, it, it's challenging which I like I really like that it is the challenge to it and that's why I also think it's really good that they have done the fact that you have more difficult higher difficult things it just makes it so many uh, so much more fun it makes it a lot otherwise and would be very very uh, bad actually I would think I would say it would be bad if it didn't have more uh, difficult options in it but it does which is really good and I think it does give you a really good uh, gameplay. It, it does have a good replayability, although not not uh, not that good. You know, as I said, you can try out a lot of different heroes. I personally tried out a lot of different heroes, and some work better than others. But uh, it's fun to make some work that are not really good in the first place. For them, like a Genji is pretty bad in this uh, thing. But on lower difficulty, like on normal, it's fun to make him walk. 
it's so fun to play with the Genji, with Genji in this brawl, even though he's not perfect. You know, and there's more, um, more heroes to that, that that can actually give you quite a, a couple of cool uh, things, cool gameplay. And also, it doesn't last that long. It does give you uh, a good amount of minutes. I don't know. I don't know how many, uh, how long this one takes. It does give you a good amount of, of time to play. It's not that easy. You can kind of see from this gameplay, uh, you have you have a lot of different objectives, which I also really like. It's not just move a payload. First, you need to capture a couple of points. Then you need to move a payload, and then you need to kill four. Uh, bosses or well, arises that have a lot of health. So that's a, that's one of the best things about it is that you have a lot of different objectives, and I think the overall the art of this, just like every all the style of it, is incredible. I, I really love the way they stylized the hero or the um, all of the enemies and the ro ro robots. And the storyline behind it is um, pretty good. You know, it's not it's not incredible, but I do like that they haven't really thought about it and made a whole storyline behind it. And um, I really, I, I I really like that about this game is that everything kind of has a storyline. You know, right now you can see I'm using the overgrown skin from uh, for Bastion that has a storyline that has a, an animated short about it, which I really love. And it's these little things that just are incredible um, out of out of this, and this you can see it in this update as well. That it just has these little little things that just make it make it really cool. Now here you can see a little bastion on top there that has a quite a lot of health, and you have these arises you need to be taken out. You have, I don't know how, exactly how many different, I think there's about five different enemies. Um, not counting the difference between uh, an ult, ulting bastion and a normal bastion. Uh, you have the Arises, you have the shield guys, you can see right there. Uh, you have the slicers and the normal guys. I think that's far. I think it's, let's kill this bastion. To this guy and the harder difficulties it's um, not necessarily that more difficult it's just enemies do more damage they have more health and uh, they're spawn more of them so if you have higher difficulties there will be um, for instance if you're playing hard there's a bastion over here as well so there, there we completed it uh, you got a couple of stars. The stars don't really do anything. It's just a score. Uh, you do get more XP for that, which is kind of cool. Um, so this is just, that's about it for it. And hey, look at that. I got played the game. That's about my opinion on it. Although, it's a, it's a great brawl. I really like it. Uh, it gets a bit dull after you play it a while because it just has the same uh, things over and over again. do like the higher difficulties. That's really cool addition. And trying out of new heroes. That's that's about my opinion on this new brawl. I just wanted to share with you guys. I just wanted to upload a new video. So thank you all for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you do, make a click on that like so I know I may have to make more of these kinds of videos. If you want to see more of these videos or want to see more of me, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the future.